everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a mini makeover on this rental bathroom. I'm so excited for this video because I know there's a ton of you guys out there that have rental spaces or bathrooms that you don't wanna make permanent changes to. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some really great ideas on how you can customize your rental bathroom space, update it, and really make it your own. So before we get started on this makeover, I wanna give a huge thank you to the Home Depot for sponsoring today's video. So as you can see, this rental bathroom is already very updated and new. It has nice hardware, countertops, tiling, everything is updated and finished really nicely but it doesn't really have that much personality. I think it looks a little plain. You know, there's always something you can do to your bathroom to really make it your own. So I'm definitely gonna be adding some color in here to really help break up the white and gray that's going on everywhere. I'm also gonna be adding some really great storage options, especially over top of the toilet here. There's no storage in this little half of the bathroom and there's nowhere to ever put anything when you're getting in the shower. So we're definitely gonna figure out that situation. We're gonna change up this shower area and make it look a little prettier. And of course we're gonna be custom Customizing this cabinetry but in a really renter friendly way and we're obviously gonna be adding some decor in here to really spice it up in here add some personality and use decorative and organizational pieces together to have a really great functional look so now that we're on the same page here let's go ahead and start this makeover so the best and easiest way to add color and style into the bathroom is by incorporating a gorgeous bath towel I've partnered with the Home Depot today to share with you the Turkish Cotton Ultra Soft Bath Towel from Home Decorators Collection. This is the softest towel. I'm so excited to incorporate this into the bathroom. This is in the shade Cherry Blossom and it's going to be my accent color for this space. It's also available in a variety of other colors, but I think this is gonna add a really cute feminine touch. This towel is made from 100% Turkish cotton and you can just feel the quality of it in your hands. It's soft and plush and it's such a luxury to have this hanging in your bathroom. It's made from comb cotton for added softness and low linting. Each towel features a long lasting and bright design. It includes double needle stitched hems to further ensure long lasting durability. This beautiful towel is crafted in Turkey for exceptional quality. It's soft and absorbent and offers superior strength and durability at a great value. And to ensure this bath towel looks clean and fresh hanging in the bathroom, it's machine washable for easy care. I'm using this beautiful bath towel as a hanging feature in this space to add some functionality and also some beauty on this wall. But if you love a matching set it's also available in bath towels hand towels and washcloths I really love adding color to a bathroom using bath towels like this I think it adds a design feature it's functional it's beautiful and it's something really simple and easy to switch out or even add to if you wanted to add more color onto here if you want to switch up the color it's super simple to do that by just switching out towels you can see the towel from every angle of this space and it's really gonna help anchor this entire design it just adds that functionality and luxury that this bathroom needed I think Every bathroom should have some really great towels, but because this is a guest bathroom, this is gonna be used by our family and friends. So having these really special Turkish cotton towels in here are really gonna make this feel like a hotel stay. Now onto the floor, I really want to add some color and texture down here and really just brighten up this gray flooring. And the best and easiest way to do that in the most renter friendly way is by adding a nice rug down the middle of the bathroom. Especially with this style bathroom that has a double vanity, this little rug is not cutting it. It doesn't really serve both sinks. So I really wanted to remove this small rug and get a longer runner that will serve both sinks. It will cover a lot of the flooring in here and really just add a nice pop of color. I'm gonna be using this gorgeous rug that I found that has beautiful colors and a really ornate kind of vintage style to it. So that's really gonna tone down the modern style of this space and really mix in a nice old and new look. I love the colors that this has in it. It's really gonna tie together the towels and all of the decor. And this size rug is perfect for the vanity. It serves both sinks and really grounds the center of this bathroom bathroom. Another great way to update a bathroom space is by simply switching out the shower curtain. Getting a new shower curtain always makes the world of a difference, especially when your shower looks like this and you only have a liner. So obviously it looks really bad. It really needs some help here. I really wanted to soften up the shower space, especially since it's the first thing you see when you come in at the back of the wall there. So I thought this really cute farmhouse looking dainty shower curtain would look really pretty, has a really simple pattern to it 
bit and I think the edge is just gonna add a soft kind of vintage look to it. Switching up your shower curtain is by far the easiest thing you can do to update your bathroom, especially if you're changing styles in there. I'm going for a more vintage look in here, mixing that in with the modern. So I think this shower curtain is really gonna do that. It's really gonna add that style in here that I want and it just makes it look so much softer. Right now I don't have the liner behind it because the liner was a lot longer than the shower curtain so I'm gonna have to find a shorter one but I will definitely add that back in. But I'm loving the way this edge looks. I think it looks feminine, pretty, and the design is so minimal and simple that it totally works in here. Now moving on to adding some renter friendly storage in this small tiny shower toilet room. I really wanted to add some shelving over top of the toilet here and I found a really great solution for that that doesn't require any mounting or any holes in the wall. It's this really great space saving organizer that fits right above your toilet. I love the minimal design of it. The silver works perfectly in the bathroom and it just has a very airy look to it. Nothing about it is very bulky. It did require a little bit of setup but once that was done you can just slide it in behind the toilet it's sturdy it's simple and it looks really pretty it actually adds a really nice design feature in this space and it adds so much storage for this room so now we can store toilet paper above here we can store extra shower needs and there's finally a place to put towels and just extra things that you may need while you're in this little room so I think this is absolutely perfect if you ever need some kind of renter friendly storage solution this is an amazing option now moving on to one of my favorite things to do to customize a space, changing out the hardware. So we're gonna be changing out these four poles down here. They're actually used for these drawers and they're a very modern, simple look. They look great in this space already, but I'm just doing this to show you guys how easy it is to change up the look of your vanity or your dresser or whatever the furniture piece may be. All you have to do is measure from screw to screw to see how big that space is and then buy the appropriate pull. So in my case, I'm actually going to be using knobs this time. I thought it'd be a really interesting look to have these kind of more ornate vintage looking knobs. I know it's not the most traditional look to have two knobs on a drawer, but I actually think it looks really fun. The color is absolutely perfect. It matches with the flooring, the new rug, and all the different silver features in this bathroom. And I think it just adds a really interesting look in here. I love that it's mixing that modern look with this old kind of vintage pull. And both of them together are just gonna look so pretty in here. Again, this is just a very easy thing you can do in your bathroom or your kitchen to update it. This doesn't cause any damage to the cabinetry. You're simply just unscrewing and screwing back in some new knobs. So I'm loving the way this is looking. I think it looks so cute in here. It really adds a really cute detail and a nice pop of color down here. So if you have some hardware in your bathroom that you don't especially love, you can easily change it out, find a new style, a new finish, and create a whole new look. And now onto the countertops. We're not gonna be updating the countertops, but we are going to be updating our soap dispensers. Soap dispensers make such a big difference, especially when you have plastic packaging like these ones. I think a new updated set of two will look so much better in here. They're sturdy, they're glass, they're shiny, and they just look a lot more styled and put together than the original plastic one that was sitting there. So these are gonna look gorgeous and clean on top of the countertops and they just add that nice vintage style in as well. So I'm really loving this old and new mix. We're also gonna be adding a pop of color using some pink soap. So again, you can match your soap to the decor style in here, the color scheme, and it's another easy way of switching up color and style in here. This is such a simple thing to add to your countertops and it really helps tie together the entire design. And now for some counter decor. I feel like a faux plant or a real plant is a must have in a bathroom. I really think it helps brighten up the space, adds a nice natural organic feel, and it just makes this bathroom feel really relaxing. 
Now I also really like to use pieces that are organizational and decorative and these canisters are perfect. I love using these style things for q-tips or cotton balls. Whatever you use regularly on your countertop should be easy to access and just look really decorative and nice on the counter. Another really decorative and functional thing to do is get a beautiful looking vase or canister and fill it with bath salts. I love this idea because it adds that pop of pink, it also adds a beautiful scent, and just looks super pretty on top of the counter. So I'm pairing this with the canister and really having a layered look. That way you can easily access everything, it looks intentional and organized and just beautiful on top of the counter. I'm also going to be continuing the functional decorating into the shelving unit. I love the idea of a toilet paper basket, keeps everything together, a nice hanging plant to add some texture, all of the shower essentials you'll need in a basket, adding a nice little frame as a nice decorative touch, and a pink candle for some pop of color. I'm bringing in this wooden stool to add some warmth, texture, and functionality in here, as well as adding a new bath mat on top of the bathtub. That way it's ready to go when you have a shower or a bath. I also wanted to add a really subtle decor piece on this wall here, something that would really blend into the design. And I thought this fresh sign was perfect for that wall. You guys might have remembered this from my old coffee bar that I made. I used it there, but I think it's perfect for a bathroom. It blends in perfectly to the wall and really adds this cool 3D effect. And lastly, I'm gonna be adding these really great renter-friendly hooks. These are suction hooks. They can be used on any smooth surface, so I'm gonna be putting one on the back of each door here to be able to hang towels. I feel like bathrooms just get filled with wet towels and I love a place to be able to hang them up. So I'm putting one on each door and this is purely just a functional feature. It's definitely not a decorative touch, but it does save you from having a messy looking bathroom. Okay guys, I'm finally done at this mini bathroom makeover and I am so happy with the way it turned out. It's so much more my style now, it looks lived in, personalized, and it kind of has like a really cool old and new kind of effect to it. I love mixing like a modern look with a really antique kind of boho look. So I think we ended up with exactly what I was looking for. It looks like a totally transformed bathroom and it was all done with really renter friendly ideas. So I didn't make any major changes in there. Nothing is damaged. Everything is just styled and pretty and can go back to the way it was easily. So I hope some of these little ideas could help you and inspire you to transform your bathroom into a space of your own without doing some major renovations. So before we go inside, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up right now and let's go ahead and check it out.
that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's renter friendly makeover. Definitely let me know down below if you guys want to see more renter friendly makeovers or renter friendly decor ideas because that would be a lot of fun. I know a ton of people have rental spaces, dorm rooms, or just a house that you don't want to make major changes to yet. So I think we could all use some of these ideas. So let me know down below if you guys want to see more of those and I'll definitely get on that. If you enjoyed watching today's video, definitely give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel, click the red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have your notifications turned on so you never miss an upcoming video. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.